Hello, Paul Gabry here for another installment of Ask ZBrush. So we had the question sent in to us on how do you add thickness to a thin piece of geometry. So I have a pretty simple cylinder here that has an opening on the top, we've got an opening on the side, and then there's an opening on the bottom. Now you may notice that not all of the mesh is visible right now in the ZBrush document. And there's a reason for that. ZBrush only renders the normals that are facing the camera. So these normals are currently facing the camera, so they're going to be rendered. This is why you don't see the other side of the cylinder. So what you can do to help you visualize and see your mesh is in the tool palette, down display properties, you can turn this button on right here, which is double. And what that does is tells ZBrush, render all normals regardless if they're facing the camera or not facing the camera. So this becomes very helpful for trying to see where you want to put thickness on something that might be very thin or have a hole. So how I'm going to add thickness is I'm going to use the Z Modeler brush. And if you don't remember how to get to that brush, again you just hit the B key and then you hit the Z key and ZBrush will only show the brushes start with Z. You can see right here the Z Modeler brush is already selected. I'm just going to hover over any of the faces and I'm going to hold the space bar. And I'm going to make sure I'm in QMesh mode and I'm going to make sure I have all polygons turned on. So now all I got to do is click and drag on any of the faces, it doesn't matter which one, and you'll see that instantly ZBrush adds thickness to the entire piece of geometry. And just like that we've added some thickness to our piece of geometry. Please continue to send questions along to our Pixelogic Twitter with the hashtag AskZBrush. Thank you and happy ZBrushing.